One morning, SpongeBob was just leaving his house to go on a nature walk. As he was leaving, he noticed something strange on his street. His street was now a long train track. A train track on my street? That can only mean one thing. Then he heard a whistle. And right away, he knew who that whistle belonged to. There was Thomas the Tank Engine coming down the track. Thomas! SpongeBob was happy to see his friend. Hello, SpongeBob. Long time no see. Have you been? Oh, you know, the usual, being chased by monsters, surviving natural disasters, you know, the same ordeal. Oh, I hear you, SpongeBob. But speaking of ordeals, we need your help. My help? With what exactly? I'll explain on the way. Come on, we don't have much time. And with that, SpongeBob climbed on board Thomas and the two set off to Sodor. When they got to Sodor, Thomas took SpongeBob to Knapford Station. While there, they met an engine that kind of looked like Duck. Whoa, Duck! I love the yellow color! What? Oh, no, 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 I'm not Duck. My name is Goose. Duck is my brother. First Duck and now Goose? What a funny name. Well, my real name is Capulet, but everyone calls me Goose because whenever I whistle, they think it sounds like a goose honking. And though I much prefer my real name over my nickname, I won't get insulted if you call me Goose. Well, regardless, it's very nice to meet you, Capulet. Likewise, Mr. Um... Squarepants. SpongeBob Squarepants. Speaking of duck, that reminds me. Thomas, have you seen duck anywhere lately? Now that you mentioned it, no, I haven't. Is everything all right? Well, ever since a diesel engine named David arrived on the island, engines have been disappearing left and right. You mean there's another steam-hating diesel out there? It's not just steam engines, SpongeBob. Diesels as well. And to be honest with you, I think David might have something to do with it. Now, now, Capulet. Don't start putting the blame on David because he's strange and new. You're right. I shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Then the conductor blew his whistle, signifying that it was time for Capulet to leave with his goods train. Oh, that's my cue. I have to go. It was nice meeting you, SpongeBob. Nice meeting you too, Goose. I mean, Capulet. But my question is, who the barnacles is David? Ah, he's a new diesel that arrived on the island because we were short on engines. But come on, SpongeBob. Let's head over to Tidmouth Sheds. And the two engines set off for Tidmouth Sheds. Back at the sheds, the other engines were talking when Thomas arrived. Hey guys, I'm back, and look who I brought with me. <gasps> is that SpongeBob? I think it is. Well, bust my buffers. SpongeBob, it's so good to see you. It's so good to see you all too. How are you all holding up? Not good. There's a train napper on the loose, and it's only a matter of time before one of us goes missing. I know, Thomas was telling me. Well, I, for one, am not afraid of some diesel. Gordon, we're going through a crisis. Now's not the time to boast. I'll have you know, Henry, that this is the perfect time to boast. Ugh. I mean, if Devin the Demonic ever dared mess with me, I will push him off the rails. Who's Devin the Demonic? Are you sure you want to hear the story, SpongeBob? It's a pretty dark one. How dark can it be? I mean, with Diesel 13, it can't be any worse, right? Oh no, SpongeBob. Devin is 10 times worse than 13. Even though that makes no sense seeing how Diesel 13 is a much larger model. I too am curious to know the story of Devin the Demonic. Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. And this was the story Henry told. Long ago, sometime in the 1950s, a BR Class 08 diesel engine called Devon was built. He was a quiet engine and mainly kept to himself. He mainly spent most of his time shunting trucks in the yards, taking them from point A to point B. But one day, he was sent to the smelter's yard on a special delivery. And that was when it happened. As the cranes were unloading the scrap metal, 
Devon watched the scrap go into the incinerator. And he enjoyed it. So much so that he began to push the trucks into the incinerator. But it didn't stop there. A steam engine was working nearby. And that was when Devon did the unthinkable. What did he do? Let's just say the engine was never seen again. Holy fish paste! That happened? I'm afraid so. Whoa! That's pretty messed up! They tried to capture him, but out of nowhere he just disappeared. Where is he now? No one knows. He left without a trace. Well, if you ask me, I believe this Devon fellow is a load of nonsense. Edward would know more, but that's all I know. Speaking of Edward, where is he? He's at the clay pits. Let's go see.